Hey guys, I'm going to quickly show you how I created those curls that I had in my Blake Lively Celebrity Inspired Makeup Tutorial. It's just a really loose, kind of natural looking curls down towards the bottom mostly. And all you're going to need is some heat protectant spray. I'm using my Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. Of course, you're going to need a curling iron. I'm using my Bedhead 1.5 inch curling iron. Um, it has a larger barrel, so that's what's going to be creating those larger, looser curls. If you have shorter hairs, maybe like shoulder length or even shorter, you might want to consider using a one and a quarter inch or even a one inch curling iron instead. Also, you might want to grab um, either a hair tie or a clip, something that'll just help section your hair out of the way. And lastly, if you have stubborn hair that doesn't hold a curl for very well or very long, you might want some hairspray um, towards the end. And just one quick tip, if you have hair that doesn't seem to retain the curls very long, try to just shampoo your hair that day and not condition it. That's exactly what I did today. I only shampooed and I did not condition. So just try that out, see if that'll help with you know the curls. And all right, let's get started. Okay, so of course you want to turn on the curling iron and I'm gonna put it up to the highest setting, which I believe is 430 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Because I have thicker hair and I really just want my hair to curl quickly. So, okay, while we let that heat up, I'm going to grab my heat protectant spray and just spritz it throughout my hair, especially towards the ends, because that's where we are mainly focusing on anyways. And just kind of run your fingers through. I'm just going to grab a brush and brush it through. Okay, now I'm just going to simply section my hair into two. So just kind of maybe going a little bit above my ear and just grabbing the top section. Just going to section that out of the way. Grabbing my little jaw clip here. And then sectioning the bottom here into two. And we want to start curling. Okay, so I'm just going to take about one inch section, doesn't really matter, you don't have to be too specific with it. And I'm going to curl as I usually do, always starting in the middle, because we want the heat evenly distributed throughout that strand. And I just loosen my clamp as I go to get to the ends of the hair. Okay, there you go. And just kind of, I like to just lightly touch it to see if it's heated up enough. And as you can see, it just created that nice loose spiral curl. So you just want to continue. I'm going to alternate the direction of my curling iron. I curled this first one away from my face. Now I'm going to curl it towards my face. And you'll know it will be, be curling towards your face if you are turning the barrel towards your face like this. So once it, I just started towards the middle again. Loosen the clamp as you go to just get towards the end. And just kind of lightly touch it and then release that curling iron. Just have a couple more sections back here. See, I'm going to curl this one away. So the clamp is right up front here. And you'll, you'll feel that barrel turning away from your face rather than towards it. So you just want to alternate the curls so that it looks more natural. You know, it just looks more effortless. There really isn't much to it. Okay, I'm just curling this last strand towards my face now. Sometimes I even push my hair a bit to just kind of flatten it out. But you want to be careful, you, don't, you know, you don't want to burn yourself, of course. So I'm pretty sure you get the gist of it now. I'm just going to repeat the same exact thing I did on this side to this side. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I caught up with this side. It literally only took like a few minutes. It really doesn't take that long at all. If you have a good curling iron, your curls will curl even faster and it should retain its curl even longer. So just kind of keep that in mind. Keep in mind what kind of curling iron you have. Okay, right now I'm just kind of letting this cool down before I even touch it because once it cools down, the style will lock in better and if you just tousle it out right now while it's still hot, it might just flatten out really quickly. So, okay, just try to not touch that. 
kind of let it cool for a bit, but as you can see, it's just really loose. I'm just going to let the rest of my hair down now, and I'm just going to start curling mostly the ends. Usually with the pieces up front, I like to curl away from my face. And you just want to keep working around, making sure you don't have any really straight ends. You just want to make sure all the ends are curled. I'm going to even take like large chunks and just curl it real quick. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want to make it blend in with the rest of your hair. So as you can see, this is really easy. You're just kind of eyeballing it and working quickly with it. I always do the bangs away from my face, so you want to make sure that barrel is twisting away from your face, just like that. You just want to continue curling. So that's pretty much it. I think you get the general idea. Um, if you want to, you can just spritz your hair with some hairspray to just set in the curls. I'm not going to. I like to just keep it really loose and I like it to fall even a bit more loose throughout the day. So let me turn around so you can kind of get an idea of how it looks. That's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this really quick and easy how-to. Thanks for requesting it. You guys all have a great one. I'll see you next time. Bye.